from your mother? Well, yeah. Of course, everyone does. But, I mean, I learned from the best. Oh, so you feel she keeps secrets from you, too? Since literally the day I was born. Only when it's in her best interest. Oh, oh, so you joining a cult. That was in my best interest. Not mentioning to me that you weren't actually brainwashed the whole time. You were just undercover with the FBI working with my long-lost half-brother who I thought was dead. That was in my best interest? You're a child. I was protecting you. And explain how giving away my college fund to the farm was, was part of okay, that. That was before when I was under the influence of Edgar. How about when you didn't tell me that I had the serial killer genes? Or when you had Polly committed to the Sisters of Quiet? At mercy and didn't tell me where she was or when you had me dragged off to that evil nun hellhole because she okay. did mrs burble where they force fed me drugs against my will but but hey but hey you know at least they were fizzle rocks and not birth Context control because is god forbid you ever realize that maybe i started taking birth control because i didn't want to have a baby at 16 like you or polly i don't want to be like the two of you pregnant and married to a murderer or a cult leader or both i'd hoped i'd raised you to be smarter than us and no offense mom i am being proactive is being smart. And you're acting so naive, like you didn't think I was having sex. Jughead and I sleep in the same bed. She's too young to have sex. She doesn't know what's good for her. You are so hypocritical. I was fine taking care of myself when you abandoned me for the farm. Yet you keep treating me like a child. Oh, so that's a crime now. A mother wanting to protect her child. You've said that several times now. Betty's young, Betty's a child. Why do you think that is? She is. I, look, it's fine for me. I take her instance. That's my cross to bear as a parent. But the things that she's written in her diaries. You read her diaries? Yes, oh, yeah. because she has no boundaries, no emotional respect, none. How does that make you feel? Like I'm filled with gunpowder and I'm one Elizabeth away from exploding. You need to stop invading my privacy and accept the fact that I'm becoming an adult. You will always be my daughter, Elizabeth. And I am so, so worried about you. But not for the right reasons, Mom. Forget about college and sex and the serial killer genes. Think about everything that you have done to me. That is what I'm going to be unpacking for the rest of my life. So you either... Start treating me like I'm an adult or I will not be in your life. Miss Smith, Betty's education, her relationship, her behavior, I think those things make you afraid. Afraid that Betty is growing up. That may even be why you gave away her college money. Because if you can control her, you can hold on to her childhood just a little bit longer. Does that sound right? It's just... I've already lost two children. First, Charles, then Polly, and Betty. Growing up, leaving for college, moving out, moving on, it just feels like I'm losing you too, Mom. <sighs> That's what happens. Kids grow up and they leave. I can't be your only hope. But I love you. I love you too, but that is not an apology. That does not justify the horrible, unhealthy things that you have done. How you keep <laughs> suffocating me. And why me? Why are you doing this to me? Because I love you. But you love Polly too. She's in an asylum. She needs you. She needs help. Why can't you go do this to her? Because I love you more. <laughs> I love you most. <laughs> <laughs>